No, so you're never supposed to be shooting video while you're driving. This is the first safety lesson that everybody is taught in driver's school. Never shoot YouTube videos while you're driving. So I'm heading down to run an errand and then I have to go over to an office supply store. Isn't that cool? So I acknowledge the fact that cigars are a bad habit, but I just bought a pack of cigars yesterday and they were bad. Dried, wouldn't draw, just terrible cigars. So you got to get your money back. And uh, so I came back to the cigar store and bought something else. Now it's off to the office supply store. Yes, you saw that right. You did not hallucinate. It is three CRT televisions, one of them being a VCR combo, sitting in a cul-de-sac in a nondescript part of Albuquerque next to the interstate highway. What's that all about? Is it an open Office Max or is it a closed Office Max? Is it another closed office supply store? Well, so my errands took me down to the University of New Mexico area and uh, it's most notable in my mind right now for the fact that there were several office supply stores in that area that are now closed and gone. So here I am up closer to the east side of town and uh, here I am trying to uh, find an alternative to Staples in my area. Okay, we're at Office Max. Let's see what we can find. Well, I'm back from my little trip, and i got to say, the state of affairs with regards to <laughs> the office supply world is pretty pathetic. I have a Staples near my house, but I went down about two miles to an Office Max, and uh, yeah, it's pretty pathetic. <laughs> How to describe this? Well, let's see. There's a pretty good supply of kids school supplies and you would kind of expect that this summer and then all the backpacks and phone chargers and junk for older kids and then you know you have printer supplies and those kinds of things some pens I mean there's a bunch of pens but they don't have anything like you know the Bic Biro Bic Biros medium blue or even black or whatever they don't have any of those either at Staples or this other store as I was driving in, to there and back and thinking about it, I was thinking, you know, we live in a silicon culture, right? Digital electronics, microprocessors, silicon-based, and silicon is made from dirt, from rocks, from stones. So we live in a stone age, actually. We live in an age where people are getting more and more illiterate, uh, at least uh, from my perspective. And, you know, the evidence of writing if at least presenting itself by the materials is getting scarcer. We're getting to be a uh, culture that doesn't know how to write, doesn't know how to read. There's plenty of writing supplies for school kids in these stores, but when they become adults, they won't be expected to write anymore. So anyways, I, got, I came home with a box of file folders that my wife needed, and that was it. It was kind of a pathetic little trip and not even anything worthy of confessions of an office supply junkie, which by the way, I couldn't really film inside the store even if I wanted to because of the Muzak on the overhead speakers and YouTube and the copyright thing. It's just crazy and stupid. But all is not lost. I have this box here full of some cigars that I'm gonna put into my humidor and then the box itself, I can, uh, save it for either a pinhole camera project or storing more stuff in boxes. Well, let's see what these stogies look like. Oh, yeah. Can you do cigar unboxing videos on YouTube? Oh, okay. Well, these look pretty nice. Each one is in a little tube. Hmm. Well, pretty sweet. I think I'm going to stick these in my humidor and uh, see what happens. Okay, so here's a parenthetical thought. Cigar box, right? Um, how many times have you seen or heard of a parent or a teacher going to a tobacco store to get a cigar box for crafts for their kids? And 
these are the same parents and teachers, of course, that teach their kids not to smoke. What's that all about? Symbiotic relationship between school craft projects and tobacco sales. We used to glue macaroni noodles to these boxes. Not the fancy ones, but like the cardboard type cigar boxes. And then spray paint them gold and take them home to our moms and say, hey, I just made you a jewelry box. Hey, one other thing. Uh, when I was making notes in preparation for uh, episode 113 of the typewriter video series, which uh, is posted today, I was uh, writing those notes on uh, Adobe Rose, right, my Royal Quiet Deluxe, and um, typing it onto that roll of thermal paper, eight and a half inch wide roll of thermal paper. But look at this, uh, I got a bunch of, uh, a bunch of notes typed, and do you notice how dark the imprint is? <coughs> so, <coughs> if you missed that video from a week or two ago, I'm typing on the back side, the non-thermal side of thermal fax paper. And uh, <coughs> it's really dark. Now, of course, this Royal Quiet Deluxe makes a beautiful dark imprint. It's really dark. And it's a 12 character print, elite, small letters. But look at that, look at, isn't that wonderful? So anyways, I typed all these notes out for my, my video with the idea that making it a little bit more scripted in the sense of having something written down that can direct my thoughts so I'm not just rambling incoherently and randomly. This also means I'm going to uh, photograph these notes and put them on my blog. This, is, this becomes a blog article, not just notes for a video. Okay, that's it for me for today. I'll see you guys next week. You have yourselves a great day.